Hello there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to the Trinity Stamps YouTube channel and day five of our sneak peeks for our February release. Today I get to share with you a little look at the Shamrock Swirl Cut and Foil Set. I'm only using the cutting part today and this die works this die set works in so many different ways because you can um, layer dies together to get different looks like these frames that I'm going to use, but you can also only use the frames um, like one time and layer the solid pieces together and put a frame around it. Like there's just so many options with three different dies. And then there's also a foiling plate to go with. So that was just a little peek at it. We're gonna make a background for this to sit on and I have these gorgeous colors. I'm starting with mustard seed and ink blending it out in the center of this panel so the edges are going to be a little bit lighter. That way they can blend nicely with my Kitsch Flamingo and Salvaged Patina to create a gorgeous rainbow. So here's that Kitsch Flamingo I'm putting on the one end, which will be the top of the card, and I'm concentrating the ink where it's white and then just bringing it down to overlap with the yellow and blend with it to create a really nice soft orange color. And then once I have it kind of how I like it, I'll bring back the sponge for the yellow without re-inking it just to soften that blend right there. And I can go back and forth between the two colors until I get the look that I like. And then it's time to work on the other end. And again, this is salvaged patina. So first, I'm really working on the white area and getting a nice concentration of ink before I pull down the kind of remaining ink on the sponge to blend with the yellow and look at this gorgeous green color. I just love these three colors together as a rainbow. It's so beautiful. So again, I'm bringing back that yellow and just working back and forth until I get the rainbow that I love. And it is so easy to do and just so pretty. So there's my nice soft rainbow and I am going to splatter it because I love adding some water and getting those oxidized droplets with Distress Oxide ink. So I sprayed that, I let it set for just a minute, and then I pick up any remaining water. Once this was dry, then I'm adding another layer, a stencil layer, and I'm using um, a stencil that's like a favorite of mine from the last release. It is the checkered background add-on of hearts. So I'm gonna use a little magnetic mat here from Tonic, and have that hold my stencil down for me while I apply some paste. And for the paste, I'm using something that doesn't have to be just for Christmas and winter. It's the Snowfall Distress Grip Paste. So I'm going to add this all over filling in those hearts and it will dry translucent. It looks white at first, but the base of this is translucent. So it's gonna give me a nice subtle background, but it's gonna be these chunky, sugary looking hearts. It is just gorgeous and the rainbow will still show through the hearts. I just love this paste so, so much. So mine's getting kind of close to empty, but no worries. I have another and I'm so glad. <laughs> so there you can see what they look like while it's wet and while it's wet, it's a good idea to clean up the edge of your paper by rubbing off any excess because if that dries there, it's gonna be much harder to get off. Also, you should make sure and clean up all your things, your mat, your stencil, your tool. Put some uh, cling wrap over your paste before you put the lid on. Okay, let's go back to this swirly shamrock. And you can see I have a base one cut out and then I added my first frame. And then I'm going to start adding all those additional frames and I'm, what I'm doing is going from darkest to lightest. Now, this third layer, I did not get it on very good. There are some little gaps. So I didn't wanna redo everything and I found a workaround. And you can tell me if you think it works. So here we go. We're using clear sparkle embossing powder and some clear embossing ink. I have this on a piece of that cling wrap there. It's the press and seal kind. And I'm going to cover the entire shamrock with Versamark ink so I can emboss it with that clear sparkle that's gonna give me like a little bit of forgiveness for the parts that just aren't perfect and that's okay it's handmade right I say it's okay so it's up to you if you want to redo it next I'll sprinkle on that powder it's gonna stick to that Versamark and this becomes the most beautiful focal point for this card 
forever. All right, so that's on. Now we need to heat set this. So I have my heat tool. I let it heat up a little bit, and then I just set to embossing. And you can see it gets um, really shiny. It goes from cloudy to shiny as you emboss it. And it is well. Wow. All right, now I have a little sneak peek at another set. This is the Simply Sentimental Lucky that I use to stamp out my sentiment. I use some gold, um, California gold embossing powder that's gold with gold glitter, and then just plain gold for the sub sentiment. So it's gonna say, lucky to be your friend. And now I'm coloring these letters because it has this cool opening so you can customize this to match your card. I thought I would do rainbow, so I'm sharing the Copic markers that I used right on the screen because this might be my new go-to color selection for coloring rainbows with my Copic. So if you need to slow this down or pause it, you can see all the colors there because I don't mind if you copy me at all. <laughs> all right, so we're just doing um, pink, orange, yellow, green, and blue. No purple on this one because there's no purple on my background. And I love it. It is so festive for this time of year with um, St. Patrick's Day, but you know, it's it doesn't have to be exactly a St. Patrick's Day card either. Okay, so I'm adding my background now that it's dry onto a A2 size card base that is white. And then I'm gonna stick my um, swirly, my shamrock swirl down. And it um, is stuck down with foam squish, but you saw me apply some of my crafty glue friend because it's such a textured background. I really want it to stick well. Now the word lucky is gonna overlap my shamrock and stick down to the background. So that's why there was some foam squares on part of it and not on the other parts. And then this sentiment I'm going to glue down and I'm kind of covering up those areas that didn't line up really good on the shamrock. And now it's time to embellish. Can you see these gorgeous shamrocks? These are like have an iridescent finish to them. Also a new product in the shop and they're tiny, great for shakers. I have a shaker card video coming up with these on release day, which by the way, if you don't know when release day is, it is coming up on February 7th, only a couple days from now. And all of these fun products are going to be available for you to shop at the Trinity Stamps site. So be sure to mark your calendars and join us on the 7th for our hop. And we'll be sharing lots more with this collection for you on that day on Instagram and YouTube. So check it out. And that finishes up my card. I cannot tell you how cute I thought this card was when I finished it. I'm so happy with it. I love the rainbow, the shiny, shimmery, glittery shamrock makes me so happy. I love it. So thank you for dropping by and letting me share it with you. I hope that you are enjoying some crafty time right now as we speak. And if you would like more inspiration from Trinity Stamps, you can find us on Instagram and Facebook too. I'll see you all again very soon with a new video right here on the channel. Happy stamping. Bye.